Mr. Jerowai explains that there were no laws passed by the national government in the last parliament sitting to legalize the presence of the private military contractors. Jerowai said the timing of their hiring is not right because of the national election. In summary, says that any um, um, authorization of personnel to be treated as members of our police force must be, other than the members of the regular police force, must be uh, made by way of or should be authorized by an act of parliament. In two separate press conferences, Police Commissioner Gary Barkey has said the contractors are here for firearms training with the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary. However, following media coverage on this story, the Commissioner has stood down the armed men until a formal contract is finalized. Therefore, in my view, uh, their engagements notwithstanding all the explanations as given by the Commissioner for Police, uh, Commissioner Gary Bucky, are unconstitutional. Meanwhile, President of the Lawrence Aviation and Security Group, Peter Halliman, says he cannot comment on this matter as the company has been directed to refer all questions from the media to the Police Commissioner. The ominous nature of such engagements at this time um, presents a real concern to every Papua New Guinean, uh, particularly in view of the unauthorized nature apparently on the face of it. Tekla Gunga, National MTV News.